There's lots of techniques you can use, either curves or levels that involve using the eyedroppers to try and improve your photo. And usually it's fairly easy to find a dark spot with the black eyedropper and a white area with the white eyedropper, but the challenge is usually where to click with the gray eyedropper to find a nice neutral gray. Well, here's a technique that works pretty well to narrow down your choices and get you pretty close to finding a good neutral gray spot, and especially in areas where it's hard to find. So I just added a new layer. Now I'm going to use the fill command, and I'm going to fill with 50% gray, which is one of the choices in our pop-up menu, and then change the blend mode to difference. And the way the difference blend mode works is anytime this layer sees a color that's identical or very close to it, it turns black or very close to it. So now I just need to take my color sampler tool and click on areas that look very, very dark, if not black to me. And I'm just going to pick a couple of them that I can see here. Once I've done that, I throw away that gray layer because it's basically served its purpose. Now I'll go back to a command like curves, and let's do the same thing. Black eyedropper, white eyedropper, gray eyedropper. Now in this case, I'm going to put the caps lock key on because that way I can line up the little targets there. That's the one, first one I found. Looks pretty good. Let's try this one. Not bad. How about this one? I think I like number one the best. And you can see it's not always going to work perfectly, but it gives you at least a good point. I don't think I would have clicked there if I was guessing what would make a good neutral place. So let's try a different one. This one has a, a much greater problem. That has a definite color cast. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. New layer. Fill with 50% gray. I'm not even going to bother trying to guess this time. I'm going to go right to this command, difference mode. And when I take my eyedropper, it looks to me like one of the like the little stripes in her, the indents in her sweater might be one spot. I need to click there, and I think maybe this line looks pretty dark right around here. So I throw that away now. Go back to curves. In this case, let's go right to the gray eyedropper to see what it did. See how we made out with our little guesswork. Here's the first one. It's not bad, but it's a little pinkish. Let's try this one. Let's line that up there, right there. Beautiful. So click OK, and there you go. So instead of guessing now where to click for that neutral gray point, just add a new layer. Let's do it one more time. Fill with 50% gray. You might even want to record an action that does these steps. New layer, fill with gray, difference mode, and then look for very, very dark, if not black, areas. Use your color sampler tool, throw the layer away, and then click with one of your tools like curves or levels, and you're done. Pretty cool. I'm Dave Cross. Thanks for watching. I'm getting way too old for this, I tell you.